There are very few physical objects that I could safely say have changed my life in any significant way. Although things like my first skateboard or the ring that I gave my wife would come to mind. But when it comes to camera gear, I don't hold many things to a very high place of importance or nostalgia. With one of the exceptions being this unique little lens. This lens was made by Panasonic in collaboration with Leica, and it holds the illustrious Summelux name, which I recently found out is a combination of summum, the Latin word for highest, and lux, meaning light. So a quick side note, DJI actually sold this lens as well for their gimbals and their drones. I have the DJI version, but they're essentially the same lens. This lens came out 10 years ago now, and in my opinion, it's still one of the most slept on lenses for the Micro Four Thirds mount. This lens on most Micro Four Thirds cameras will give you a 30 millimeter field of view, which is very unique, even in the full frame world. It's pretty hard to find a 30 millimeter lens that's designed to cover a full frame sensor. I spent most of my 20s with Micro Four Thirds cameras, hiking, traveling, and making YouTube videos. This 15 millimeter was right there with me. It's sharp, small, and has a pretty wide aperture of f1.7 to help with background separation and low light performance. Also, it's a pretty sexy looking lens with a manual aperture ring, signature yellow numbering, and it sits right between the size of a pancake lens and a portrait sized prime. A week before my 29th birthday, I posted a video that would actually change my life. To looking like... To this. It was the catalyst of me quitting my day job and jumping into this whole YouTube world full time. That video was shot on none other than this little lens. Now I know the lens played a pretty small role in the creation of that video, but back then it was really hard to find a wide compact lens for Micro Four Thirds cameras with a big enough aperture to actually give you good separation. 
And that's why I feel so fondly about this little Panasonic slash Leica slash DJI 15 millimeter. So when it comes to using this little lens, typically on older cameras that shoot in 1080p, I would suggest not putting any type of diffusion in front of it. But if you're shooting on a 4K camera, like the G85, the GH5, Blackmagic Pocket 4K or something like that, I would suggest using a little bit of diffusion just to take that digital edge off. So you can find something as cheap as this. This is a newer 1 8 black Pro Mist diffusion. And I got this for like 15 bucks on Amazon. And this is a 46 millimeter. You can just screw right on to the front of this lens. And that can just help take the digital edge off your sensor. This is a pretty sharp lens. And I usually just use a simple step up ring to get it to a filter size that's a little bit easier to work with. So this is a 46 to 62 millimeter step up ring. And then when I'm filming outside, I use this pretty cheap newer true color variable ND filter. This one has hard stops. So it's a little bit easier to use and you're not gonna get that X pattern. Right now what you're seeing me on is a Sigma 18 to 35 with a Metabone speed booster and we're at 18 millimeters at F1.7. So I'm gonna show you what this DJI 15 millimeter looks like at F1.7 because we should be getting a pretty similar field of view. So now we are on the DJI 15 millimeter. And as you can see, the field of view isn't quite the same. This is a little bit more of a tight shot, but very similar. And I think for the size of this lens, you can get some pretty good background separation at f1.7. And again, it's a very sharp lens. So having this 1 8 black pro mist diffusion in front of it, I think really helps just take that ultra sharpness out of this lens. It blooms the highlights a bit, and I think just looks a little better. for micro four thirds as a system isn't really the great image stabilization, professional codecs or rugged bodies that Panasonic and OM systems put into their cameras. It's always been more so the size and quality of the lenses available. Nowadays, I couldn't really see myself using a huge lens setup on my micro four thirds cameras. To me, it kind of defeats the point. Having a small camera and lens kit that I can bring with me to tell stories and capture memories is the real power of this system. And the 15 millimeter F1.7 is one of the best examples of a lens that delivers pro quality imagery with a small footprint. I make videos highlighting cameras a lot on my channel, but oftentimes it's lenses like this that actually make my videos what they are. As cameras get smaller and productions get more nimble, I'm excited to see video gear continue to shrink as well. I just love that we have the opportunity to choose between larger or smaller camera setups without having to sacrifice quality. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.